What's up everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game here with Pokemon Violet playing on Nintendo Switch. We're continuing on with the uh, Snacksworth Legendary Quest. Uh, an Indigo Disc. Let's see what snack we get this time. Entei! Ooh, alright, we're starting with the fire one. Out there's an Entei treat. You know Entei, right? Rightfully rare, that one. Not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. <laughs> Speaking of Entei, uh, I do recall this one particular... This, do, this one particular encounter when I was a young fella. Would you believe it? I simply ran, ran smack dab in Tanron while out adventuring in Paldea. You, uh... You know the the stretch that dotted the, with mines? You know that stretch that's dotted with mines? And everyone everywhere you look, there's another hole? Well, there was Enron, popping through those, ca those caves like a, it was having a grand old time. I don't like to be outsh outshone, so I did my best to keep up with the fella. Woo-wee, what a chase. We ended up all the way at the coast, side by side, as we gazed out over the endless blue. He loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it too. If you run into old Elliot, you be sure to give it my best. <laughs> oh, there he is. Alright, so yeah, right there's Lavincia right there. That's where we are. Right in this area right here, right in that little stretch. Yeah, this one's not too hard to find. There's a little fence area right here. So you know exactly where we are. But again, you have to have the snack in order to find these legendaries, so... Going in with Cleaver. Yeah, this thing's, uh, gonna, this is, uh, yeah, it's gonna be another Sunny Day Attacker with Lava Plume. It's gonna do a lot of damage, but I think Cleaver should be fine to whittle it down. Let's save to be safe. Also, it has Swagger, too. It's gonna mess me up a little bit. I was thinking about teaching Smeargle Taunt, but... I didn't think it was going to be that big of an issue. Aerial Ace. Ooh, just enough. Got no recovery, so... The only thing that can mess me up is Swagger. Gonna chance switching in Smeargle. He might use Sunny Day, he might use Swagger. I hope he doesn't use Swagger. Okay, good. Time that perfectly. Get Spored. <laughs> that is an evil, evil attack, Spore. I was gonna teach it Dark Void. <laughs> yeah, you can't, uh, Smeargle can't learn Dark Void. There's like certain legendary specific moves that Smeargle can't learn. Spore's one of them, I think. I think whatever Cresselia's recovery move is, you can't learn. I'm not 100% on that. Anyway. It is night out, technically, and there are shooting stars in the sky. Maybe Dusk Ball will work well. Not sure if Sunny Day has any effect on it. Maybe it does. I did catch Reiko in a Ultra Ball. Let's just continue on with Ultra Balls. Ultra. Oh. Oh, it's awake. Oh, sunny day. <laughs> it's already sunny, bro. I mean, sunny night. <laughs> to be honest here. Sun's out, the night's out. Wait, what? <laughs> What is going on? Is the sun out? Is the moon out? Is... It? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Let's try the dust ball again. Come on, dust ball. One, two, three. Boom jam. All right. Good way to start the video right there. All right, Snackworth, what's next on the menu? Group quest. This one's gonna be Groudon. Ooh, dang! <laughs> Getting all the fiery Pokemon out, out of the way. Out of the way. That's a Groudon tree. You know Groudon, frightfully rare that one. Now, nah, not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. Speaking of Groudon, 
Uh, I do like to recall this. I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. I did spy old Groudon uh, once back in the days uh, when I was uh, adventuring around Paldea. You know that huge cave system under the, that one town? What one town? Can you give me a name of a town? <laughs> I never ever can remember the name. Anyway, that name doesn't matter. Except to say, does matter. Except to say that the that's the place that where I saw that fella. I thought to myself, well, if Garb if it ain't Garbador, I didn't know its name at the time, and I gave it a big wave, and my arms say it with a big wave, of my arms to say hello. What else are you supposed to do when faced with the continent Pokemon? I ask you. <laughs> Run? Run away? <laughs> so anyway, I did that, and it showed me its huge fearsome claws that it did. It wasn't really waving, it was trying to kill me. Anyway, it loves that snacky there you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it too. <laughs> Next time you run into old Garbador, you be sure to give it my best. The wrong name. Come on. Alright, so the name of the town was Alfernada. <laughs> and... The cave system under the town. I think it's. I think it's like just out here, yeah. Actually, it is underground, so yeah, we gotta go underground. So I think if we enter here and just go southeast, we'll be fine. clues they gave me was that there's like a Terra Pokemon near it. There it is. We're close. They specifically mentioned Terra Umbreon, so it might be... <laughs> okay, so yeah, there's the spot. This one's a really tricky one. Yeah, if you just take the way in, I, I did. Should be fine. Need more clues. There's the main entrance. But yeah, the north entrance. Entrance exit. There are the... The torches on the way up here. Yeah, if you see the Terra Umbreon, you're close. Right there. <laughs> right next to the family of Hariyama. Hariyama's family. Um, this one, yeah, same as before. It's got, it's got, it's more physical. This one has Fissure, by the way. Fissure might be bad if you're going at it with Pokemon at seven, level 70 or less. Uh, if your Pokemon's higher than level 70, you don't have to worry about Fissure. You're fine. <laughs> it won't work. It has rest, though, so that's my only concern. But I think we'll be fine with what we have. It's got Earthquake and Hammer Arm, which is bad news for Duck Hunt, for uh, Smeargle there. Oh, come on. Take a picture. These guys aren't going to let me take, a pic take my picture, are they? Not my picture. Yeah, let's paint it. 
<laughs> it's just expressionless. Oh, is this camera working? <laughs> is drought so yeah first turn sunny day return zero sunny day which doesn't really I mean it's fine I don't care it doesn't it doesn't actually help him at all he doesn't have solar beam he doesn't have I mean he can learn them doesn't have any fire attacks so but the only, the only I think this might be effective because he is a ground type and water will do less damage in a sunny day there really is good strong, but it's going to make him slower, so that'll help. Oh, good. Dang it, you rested. I'm got, I mean, Smirgle's defense is good, so... Should have started with Smirgle. The way I see it, should be able to uh, super fang once. Actually, I think two super fangs. Should get him down all the way. Really? What do you mean he avoided it? He's asleep. <laughs> How can he avoid it? <laughs> No dice. And no sunlight either. <laughs> How is there sunlight in a cave, anyway? <laughs> earthquake. I'm not worried about Earthquake, I'm more worried about Hammer Arm. I should spore him. So this way I can wear him down a little more. I thought, I thought he might use Rust again. I think, and I think False Swipe should work. I can actually power up that False Swipe, too. There we go. <laughs> Time to supercharge him. He's beautiful! My beautiful boy! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Supercharge and still didn't do a lot of damage. I gotta wear it down a little bit more. This is why I put Super Fang on it. It's, it's attack stat is not that great. I was more concerned with its defense stat than anything. Stay away. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Good. <laughs> I think I can get the capture with this. Ants in a cave, too, so Dust Ball should work. Yeah. Get caught. One wiggle. Nope. <laughs> Shoot, that was probably my best chance. <laughs> oh, good. It used, it used Fissure again. <laughs> it ain't working, bro. I mean, it's wishful thinking, but... It's definitely a punishment for anyone who comes in here with less than a love with a less than level seventy po Pokemon seventy level or le level seventy or less. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's down all the way. I mean, you might, let's try one more. Let's try one more false swipe just to make sure it's down. To it's down to one HP. I might regret that decision, but one of my, 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 one of my few options, my few uh, chances to do that. Actually, no. If it uses re if it wakes up and uses rest again, I'm gonna be very upset. Let's just go for the capture. One wiggle. 
Two wiggle. Three wiggle. Yes! <laughs> and you wanted to use false swipe, didn't you, Tim? <laughs> that would have been a mistake. All right, snacks worth. What's all, what else is on the menu? Eleven quests. Say so running a special snack. Last year. Oh God, that's the. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, it's one of the uh, DLC from uh, DLC Pokemon from Scarlet and Bi or uh, Sword and Shield. And it's a ghost type, so I can't, I can't false swipe it. This might, this one might be tricky. You know, Glastria, I probably read that one. Now, nah, you're running the middle Pokemon. Speaking of Glastria, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. I was off hiking among Paldea's peaks for a bit of fun, mountain climbing being a bit of a hobby. I was trekking up, uh, up and up those snowy hillsides, and I figured I must have been nearly to the summit when I came across some ruins. Perhaps there had been a house once. The walls still looked uh, sound enough that I could take shelter, and I had my, uh, have myself a little rest. I had no sooner drawn close for a new for a look than this Pokemon appeared, white as driven snow. Last year I'd been sleeping inside. When it popped its long face out, it fright <laughs> the fright nearly froze my heart. It loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a, have a shot of meeting it too. If you're on old glass here, you'd be sure to give it my best. That'd be nice waking up to a friggin' ice horse <laughs> in the snow. I'd be like, I'd be like, um, it's like either he's here to, here to kill me. Or he just wants some nibbles. <laughs> some, he wants something to nosh on. <laughs> Correct, the Pseudo Mountain. I think they said the southern part. Drop on down. We'll just fly on down the southern part here. Not really much to go on here, just a picture. Problem is, I'm looking for a white Pokemon, and everything is white around here. <laughs> That's out in the distance. I'm trying to, like, I think I need to go back a little bit. On the right track. It's down here. Now we can go up. Okay, go up. If I go up from here, I should be able to, I, in theory, should run right into it. Gym. Should be it's up there. Did say glass year, right? Northwest, they did say ruins, that's another thing. There's some ruins. South side of the mountain, northwest of ruins. These are the ruins that he was talking about right here. Northwest of here. There it is. Sure, sure as heck. <laughs> as sure as the snow is white. There's last year. Okay. So I'm gonna use Cleavor against it. Should be alright. For that, though, we gotta get a picture. <laughs> oh. 
if I can put my hand out and make it look like I'm giving it a sugar cube or something. <laughs> there we go. It's beautiful. <laughs> Alright, let's fight. I did save, right? Oh well. <laughs> Looks so cool. This is probably one of the better uh, Trick Room legendaries uh, of last year, just because of its slow stats. Uh, its ability, Chilling Nay, every time it knocks out Pokemon, it gains attack stat. Yeah, this thing can be deadly, and it does know Taunt, it knows Iron Defense. Uh, it knows double edge, which is gonna be a nightmare, and thrash, so can't do too much damage against this thing. This thing will wreck itself. Doing a pretty good job right now, wrecking itself. I'm gonna bring in, gonna bring in Smeargle right now. I can't wear- I can't false swipe this thing too much. But if it's confused, that's good switch in right there. Yeah, it doesn't know any ice attacks, it knows all normal attacks, so... That being said, it's pretty strong. Alright, uh... Swipe it a little bit. This won't do a lot of damage. I just I just have to whittle it down a little more and more each time. This thing's basically a flight risk right now. I'm gonna spore it and then false keep false swiping it because I'm at a point where I need to recover some health. Covering, buddy. Can't tell if he's asleep or not. His eyes look his all his eyes look iced over. Just <laughs> I just have to assume he's sleeping. <laughs> Thing looks like a dang zombie either way. One more false swipe. Still sleep. Okay, good. Still, a really risky situation because it is. I think it's still confused, and if it uses freaking double edge, I'm, I gotta restart. Hoping for the best. One wiggle. Nope. Woke up. Snapped out of confusion. Good. Taunt. Dick. <laughs> I can't use Spore now because he got taunted. I wonder if I can just use a mental herb on him. No. Okay. Yeah, that won't work. Um, okay. Ah, uh, think, think, think. Spore won't work. This thing uses double edge. I'm in trouble. Might, I should have probably given this thing... You know what? I probably should have given Smeargle a ghost terror type. If this doesn't work, I might try that. Just give him a ghost terror type. Come back here. In the meantime, though... Let's swipe, see what happens. And defense, good. I'm 
was worried this thing was going to use double edge again. I'm just going to go for the capture. I have nothing else to think of using. Let me get lucky with this. Go. Okay, thrash, that's good. Do thrash. At least it's thrash, not something like uproar where it won't fall asleep. <laughs> Good god, if all these freaking legendaries knew uproar. Uh. Dang it. I, I, I think I have to attack. Or else the taunt won't go away. Cool. Just thrash them. Go to sleep. Stop thrashing. Say, I got three Master Balls I'm saving. Because I want to, well... Some of these Pokemon are going to be really difficult to capture. Okay, he's confused. And he's asleep. I'm not sure if confusion helps catching. Yeah, there are so, some Pokemon like... Uh, like Lunala, that is... Uh, can fa it can... Hold on, I'm looking at Lunala's attacks, it knows Dream Eater. <laughs> but it doesn't know any Pokemon, any attack that can make it fall asleep. <laughs> That's weird. Don't use Rest against Lunala then, I guess. <laughs> Alright, get caught. Nope. Dang it! Don't, don't, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt yourself. Son of a gun. Alright, so here we go. Take two. This time I made sure to save. Arrow ace. Leary about using anything too strong right now because he's gonna use double it might use double edge at some point. It's confused, it's a good time to switch in for Smeargle. Maybe he damages himself a little bit more. I can spore him and then false swipe him. This one's gonna take multiple tries, I have a feeling, just because of the way last year is. Oh, you dickwad. Knew it was going to do that. I'm going to fight through it just with false swipe. Please don't attack yourself. Of course you would. There's not much else I can do against this thing. It's... <laughs> I just got to go out with low, low power attacks and slowly wear it down. Wow. Okay, use Thrash on me. Just keep hitting with False Swipe. Use I'm out. Okay, cool, okay, great. So I'm glad I didn't switch into Smeargle there. This is kind of a risk. I should have switched in Smeargle there, but... Eh. Is there any way I can give Glassier, like, a potion or something, so if it knocks itself out... <laughs> if it hits itself with its confusion attack... There's not a lot of good ways this one can end right here. Son of a gun! Alright, new plan with this one. I'm gonna start with Smeargle. I'm gonna start this smear with Smeargle, I'm gonna hit with Spore, and then I'm gonna wear it down before it, become a it can become a threat to itself. That's like all it's doing is becoming a threat to itself. <laughs> there you go, now you can't hurt yourself there, buddy. Super Fang. Stay asleep. No! No, okay. Let's go. 
I'll put it back to sleep. It's gonna be a very, very slow one here. Hit it with another super fang. And false swipe it. in half again. Good. Stay asleep, buddy. I'm gonna hit with one more false swipe. False swipe. Hope it, hopefully it stays asleep and then I can catch it. I want it down to the red. I'm probably not gonna get it all the way to like one HP because it does have double edge. Oh. Just gotta really go slow with this one. <laughs> Probably gonna terrestrialize on the next one, get a thrash in. Or not thrash in, get us uh, false swipe in. Just to power up that false swipe a little bit more. It's confused, okay. You know what? Let's just go for it. I'm just gonna go for the I'm just gonna go for the catch on this one. I really don't think this is gonna get any better. <laughs> and if it does attack itself, that just leaves a little bit of leeway. No, oh, I'm trying to help you. I'm saving you from yourself. Why can't you see that? I know as soon as it wakes up, it's gonna freaking confusion attack itself. It's just or double edge. Oh, I'm trying to help you. I want to save you. <laughs> Save you from you. Let me save you from you. Ultra Ball. Get in there. Stay in there. Not get a critical capture to save my life. Of course you woke up, and of course you're going to attack yourself. Nope. Oh, it used Taunt. Oh, you nutsack. No, I have to use freaking False Swipe. Have to use false I could, could nuzzle it. That might work. Let's try the nuzzle. Okay, now it. I can't put it to sleep, but it's paralyzed. And it should be easier. Not as easy to catch as being asleep. This works. Let's try this this way. Paralyzation should work to my advantage here. I don't have to worry about freaking using Taunt anymore now since it's paralyzed. Nope, okay. Snapped out of confusion, that's okay. Got Taunt, I don't mind, I'm already taunted. <laughs> Couldn't be any more taunted. Very leery about using false swipe right now. Let's go for it. Cool. Son of a gun! Of course it's a critical hit because why wouldn't it be? <laughs> Sun is beginning to set. <laughs> That's how long this is taking. Yeah, I'm just gonna start with Cleaver. As he starts using Thrash, I'll uh, Iron Defense, that works. Put another, put another Aerial Ace. Good. Double Edge. Switch into Smear Smeargle. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. He's an attack, you just use iron defense. Thank you. <laughs> You're like, that's a, that's a good idea, I'll take your advice. I can you use spore on this? I just don't think. Or I, can, I can use false swipe on it, I just don't think it's gonna matter too much. 
Yeah, I was thinking about using the nuzzle again, but I decided against it. Just gonna keep, keep, keep this up, hope for the best. Nice sleep. Okay, it's almost night time. As the sun goes down, it should be actually. Go for the false swipe. Wow, I think I would have been better off with Super Fang. <laughs> Bear it down a little more. At this point, if it did to use double edge, it would knock itself out regardless. Okay. Hit it with spore this time, then try dust ball. So my wake up's gonna start attacking itself again, you dick. <laughs> I think this is my best chance to catch it though. Okay, dust ball. Get it, dust ball. If I ever needed a critical capture, this time would be it. <laughs> this right here, right now. <laughs> or at that point, that right then, right there. Oh, perfect. Okay, you helped me out. <laughs> Back to sleep with you. And knowing my luck, he was probably trying to use Spore right there, or trying to use uh, Haunt right there. <laughs> Get it. No. Why? Good. No confusion. Don't double edge. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Tell you what, it'd be a real... This thing can actually learn body press, I think. Yeah, no. Yes, it can learn body press. <laughs> Its defense is already crazy strong. If this thing started using freaking metals or uh, iron defense and body press, yeah, this. I, I probably would have used the dang Master Ball on it by now. Just I would have gotten. would have lost my mind with this thing. I'm getting ready to use Master Ball, and I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and Smirrel's at full health. Good. Get in the dust ball. No! Killing me. Or you're killing yourself, but also it's killing me that you're killing yourself. <laughs> Stop doing that. Dust ball. Get in there. Stay in the ball. One wiggle. No! I'm still asleep, though. <laughs> Probably because it's nighttime. Dust ball. In the dust ball. Two wiggles. Three wiggles. Ah! <laughs> okay, yeah, your defense can't go any stronger, but I'm not going to stop you from using that. I just got to keep throwing dust balls at this thing. The best. Get in there. Get in there. Stay in there. Stay asleep. Stop hurting yourself. Stop doing things that hurt yourself. All right, this is the last one. <laughs> if this one doesn't catch, I'm, I'm, I'm using a Master Ball. <laughs> and I'll probably use one on, master, on, on a Spectre or two. Start packing away at it. Sorry, using trash. That's good. Sweet. This is a good 
to transition into to Duck Hunt. I'm gonna spore it, false swipe it one more time, then throw in the ball. Fused after this one, that's cool. Alright. Sleep still. Oh yeah, he's gonna be asleep for one turn. <laughs> Just celebrating every little moment that he's asleep. Dovers and then Just stay asleep. Good. The best opportunity I have. Stay asleep. Get in the ball. Stay in the ball. Son of a gun. <laughs> okay, he's still asleep, so I have another chance of this. Problem is, if he wakes up, it's gonna be hell again. I mean, there are a few ways I can get around this. Get in the ball. Go in ball. Stay in ball. Dang it, ball. <laughs> and he's awake. He's confused. Okay, iron defense. I have no, I have more chances. Stay in the ball. I'm gonna throw the ball, you stay in the ball. I just only this thing for freaking no taunt can learn is using taunt on me effectively. <laughs> I don't like it. Ultra ball. One, two, three. Ah! Ah! It's still asleep. <laughs> Go in the ball. One, two, three. Yes! <laughs> I got you, you icy little turd. <laughs> All right. Let's see what snacks worth has this time. Snacks. Sogaleo. Awesome. I'll combine nicely with the necrozma I just got. <laughs> so you know, you know, Fright Sagaleo, frightfully rare, that one. Not gonna run into the mill Pokemon. <laughs> Speaking of Sogaleo, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. I got and play I've gone to pay Paldea's Pokemon League a little visit at the fine building they got there. I was just admiring the structure from the outside when one of the staffers noticed me and invited me in for a battle for a better look. They took me up to the observation deck, all done with that logo of theirs. I was looking toward the academy and enjoying the view when a shadow fell across us. I kid you not, young friend. <laughs> it was uh, Solgaleo itself. I'm trying to think of a name like to get confused with Solgaleo, but it's so specific. <laughs> it was only that a moment, a moment before it dashed right off again in a flash, so I couldn't even get in a how do you do, but it was magnificent. It loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it too. If you run and told Sally Jesse Raphael, <laughs> you better. Uh, wow, really? That is a dated one. You be sure to give it my best. Sally Jesse Raphael, where did I pull that one from? <laughs> so here we are at the Pokemon League. From here, we just fly straight up. This is probably one of the easiest ones to get to. At least if you have the flying mechanic. He's right there. And I really don't know what to do on this one because his attacks are so weird. This one has Metal Burst, meaning at any time he can just send all the damage you did to him back at him in uh, times 150%. So yeah, whatever you did, that plus 50% more. Um, he also has Solar Beam, which isn't a big deal. Uh, he has Wild Charge and Flare Blitz, which are a big deal because those attacks damage himself. I'm going to go in with Cleaver and 
Try to wear him down as much as I can. I got I got saved anyway, so. This guy. He's picture worthy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta enjoy these little moments where you can photobomb Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, so that looks good. Let's get into the battle. Kind of face the face with the lion. Hey, hey you. Hey, you got a problem? <laughs> All right, taking on Laliana. Probably not the best idea to send Cleaver in, but uh, let's see what we can do. He is Steel and Psychic type, yeah. So I guess I'm just gonna wear him down very slowly because it's freaking Metal Burst. Very gently. Can't damage himself every time. Ooh. I did not think that would be a critical hit. Darn you! I'm gonna spore him first turn, and then I'll start doing damage. Okay, I'll spore, I'll super fang a couple times. Not sure if Super Fan gets around Metal Burst or not, that's my only concern. But the problem is, because of his attacks, I have to have- I, he has to be asleep before I can, like, attack him. Still asleep, good. Fang. One more super fang. <laughs> Flying real close to the sun on this one, Tim. <laughs> He's awake. Blitz. Don't knock yourself out. Don't knock yourself out. Good. Four, false swipe. Actually, I'm not even sure if I should false swipe. As soon as he wakes up, there's a 50 50 chance he'll knock himself out. Yeah, I think this is good. I think this is my best bet. Get in the ball! Get in the ball! He's gonna be frustrating to catch. <laughs> As indicative by the last battle, by the very last battle I did with frickin' list last year. Now uh, he can get into the second wiggle. Thankfully, he is staying asleep, though, so that helps. Get in the ball! One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> it's these third wiggles that are, that are messing me up. Oops, solar beam. This is good. There's no harsh sunlight, so that's a two turn attack. Basically, as soon as I put him to sleep, I'm assuming it'll cancel out the solar beam altogether. I guess we'll see. Point is, he's not going to knock himself out. I could have, uh, I could have fault swiped and then taken damage from the solar beam, but I didn't want to chance it. Let's go for the capture. 
Nope. Still asleep, good. Yeah, I really don't want to run the risk of knocking it out. Just for like a couple points of HP. However, that make that those couple points might make all the difference between catching it and not. Kind of hoping for a critical capture right now. <laughs> Up again. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, so it does cancel. So putting him asleep will cancel out the solar beam. That's good to know. Four. <laughs> also, I don't think I made this clear. If you want to know how to get a smear goal like this, you have to basically use the double battle trainers around the uh, terrarium, and then you have to like sketch each one of your own attacks <laughs> that you want it that you want the smear goal to learn. Basically, the Pokemon has to use the attack. Say I wanted to copy Amoongus's Spore, which is what I did with this uh, Smeargle. I had to have Amoongus use the Spore in battle, and then the very next turn, well, the immediately after that, I'd have Smeargle use Sketch on the Amoongus. Yeah. This is an old trick done in, I think it was Scarlet and Violet, or not Scarlet, no. Uh, this game, yeah, obviously, but uh, it was also done in Diamond and Pearl. Alright. Well, I think people were probably wondering if how I got this. Oh, I got Smear Gold and Spore, Super Fang. Yeah. <laughs> oh, He's gonna knock himself out. Darn you. Alright. This one, this time I think I got it. I had the right idea, I had the right strategy. I just have to. Kind of let it make its own mistakes here. Let Sogaleo totally make its own mistakes. So keep using Super Fang until it wakes up. It might wild charge me, even if it does wild charge me or flare blitz me. Hopefully, it won't be enough. Uh, yeah, it won't be enough, enough to knock itself out. Good. Stay asleep. Good. Sleepy time, Bella. <laughs> Sleepy kitty. <laughs> oh, for fudge's sake. Come on. <laughs> Sit fudge. Don't demonetize me, bro. Perfect. Okay. Spore, false swipe, go for the go for the not uh catch. <laughs> Don't go for the knockout, go for the catch. <laughs> the good thing about Spore and Smeargle with leftovers is that Spore keeps it asleep, and every time it sleeps, uh, leftovers heals up Smeargle a little more. Also, the defense on this thing is crazy on uh, freaking Smeargle. Do a lot of damage. I'm not try and go for a capture. It might wake up, it might use Flare Blitz or Wild Charge. I think it'll still be fine if it does. One wiggle, two wiggle, three wiggle. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> wow, I made that one look effortless the second time around. Third time around, sorry. <laughs> and that is actually going to wrap things up for tonight's video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing two more videos. I think I got, yeah, I got all the Scarlet Poke uh, Scarlet ones out of the way. I got all the group exclusive uh, legendaries out of the way. Next is the solo ones. So until next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off. And have a good night, guys.